don't know, Upsy. Do I really want it back? What? What do you mean? I wonder if spaceships are just too much trouble. Do I actually need a spaceship? I could walk instead. You couldn't walk everywhere. How would you visit Planet Dave? <sighs> no, you're right. I do need a spaceship. So... It just might be time I got a new spaceship. Poodle, you can't! You've had that spaceship for... forever! How about going over to Groovy's? Talk to him! Good idea. He'll know about all the latest spaceships. Oh, that's not what I meant. And you counted ten green bottles, Groovy. Yes, just hanging on a wall. Oh, hello, Whoopsie. Hello, Poodle. Hello, Groovy. Hi, buddy. Sorry to hear about your little spaceship problem. Groovy, Poodle is thinking of getting a new spaceship. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 All no. All right, buddy. No. Are you sure, Poodle? It's a big decision. I know, Groovy. And I've decided. Well, if you're really sure... I'm sure. There are some very nice spaceships available now. Oh. The new Alpha Mega Transporter has three-phase plasma boosters. <laughs> I was tempted myself. In fact, I've got some brochures around here somewhere. Really? Oh, that's great. Wow! Look at that! A double-decker! <laughs> Oh, Groovy was right. Some of these spaceships are amazing. And this one. Eight boosters. Oh, there's more to go wrong, of course. This is not going to be easy. Hello, Stella. Ah. Morning, Poodle. Ah. Oopsie told me you were thinking of getting a new spaceship. Yes, I am. But I can't decide. I thought it might be an idea to ask everyone what they like about their spaceships. What do you like about yours? Well, it's nice and comfy and very reliable. It's not broken down for ages. If you don't count last Thursday, Hood came open when I was on my way to see Planet Dave. No harm done. Ray was a bit, you know, but no, on the whole, pretty reliable. So you're pretty happy with it? Ooh, why don't you give my spaceship a try? We could fly over to Eddie's, and if you don't like mine, I'm sure he'd let you try his. That is a good idea. <laughs> this is cosy. <laughs> right, here we go. That's the starter. When she fires, go easy on the work. Oh, sorry. Good, we're off. Now, one thing you'll need to get used to is that if you want to turn right, turn the wheel left. And if you want to turn left, you turn the wheel right. Right? Um, right. Keep looking ahead. Just feel for the controls. No, not that. That's Ray's leg. There must be something we can do. I don't know, Upsy. Poodle seemed very sure. He wants a new spaceship. But he's got a perfectly good one stuck out there in the desert. <laughs> not quite perfect. And it's not stuck out in the desert. What's happened to it? Poodle said I could have it, so Buddy and I brought it back to my yard this morning. Let me have a think, Upsy. I'll, uh, I'll have a think. Hello, everyone. Poodle's been trying out my spaceship. He's thinking of getting a new one. Yes, a bit of a surprise, I must say. I'm sorry, Stella, but I didn't really get the hang of the controls on yours. The jet-fan combination has always been a tricky one. What you need are some V8 thrusters like mine. Well, maybe Poodle could try your spaceship, Eddie. Yeah, what? Um, uh, yes, uh, 
Why not? <laughs> Ray, have you seen Poodle anywhere? You'll never believe what I did. Oh dear. I, I did say the bottom of the box was loose. Mm. Oh, hello, Stella. Oh, have you been waiting long? I called a few times, but there is no reply. Sorry. Can I get something for you? Guess what? Yes. Please, Grooby. I need a bottle of star fruit syrup. I'm making a batch of crater cakes. Uh, uh, You've got to have star fruit syrup with crater cakes, haven't you? Oh, yeah. A big puddle of it right in the middle. Oh, anyway, Stella, I, I was just saying about this fantastic place. This box is loose at the bottom, too. Oh, dear. Anything else for you, Stella? Nuts. For Ray. And, oh yes, did that umbrella arrive? Oh, oh I've got to tell someone. I'll burst if I don't. Oh, Eddie! Oh, he'd love to hear about where I've been. Oh, please be in, Eddie. Can you pull the release lever for the main drive cover, please, Poodle? The cockpit's closed, Eddie. I'm not sure how you open it. Go, yeah, buddy. I could do that from here. <laughs> Sorry. You need to stand back a bit. I'll tell you what, Poodle. Let's swap places. Yes! He's there! Oh, and Poodle's there too! Hooray! That one seems fine, Poodle. It must be the other one. Poodle! Eddie! I think I can see the problem, Eddie. It just needs to be a bit... tighter... before you... <laughs> oh, Poodle. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Just a bit of a surprise. Wasn't quite expecting. Olive, uh... go and get a cloth. I'm so glad you're here, Poodle. I found a fantastic place. Planet Dave told me about it. It's amazing. Uh, sounds great. You'll have to show me sometime. Oh, not sometime, Poodle. Let's go now. It's a beautiful valley on planet Noisic. It's a special singing place. When you sing in the valley... It really sounds great, Upsy, but I'm helping Eddie. I can't just go off and leave him. There you are, Poodle. That should do the trick. Thanks. I'm sorry, Upsy. We'll go another time. All right? All right. Someone who won't be too busy? He's never too busy. Oh, the singing valley. And you've been there. You were right, Planet Dave. It's beautiful. The music, the sounds, the singing. I've never heard anything like it. Oh, I just want the others to hear it too. Oh, I want Poodle to hear it. <laughs> I'd go there with you right now, if only I could. Oh, thank you, Planet Dave. Do you know what? I'm going to go back there, right now. Bye, Planet Dave. And thank you for listening. Bye. Listen to that, Poodle. Shall we take it for a spin? Good idea. Hey, shall we head over to Upsies? Right you are, Poodle. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>